with our dot com check. What's going on over there, Emily? Good morning, Matt. You know, I think all the contestants look beautiful, but I'm excited to see who wins. So people have to get to that contest page to enter. Now, I'm on our Facebook page this morning for News 4 because we're getting tons of people talking about last night's presidential debate, and we're hearing people supporting both candidates. Daniel says, Romney won. Obama changed his attack, his speaking volume, length of answers, but he can't change his record. Scott disagrees. He says the president clearly won the debate last night. He offered a much more detailed plan for our future and based his answers in facts, not fiction, like Myth Romney does. Now, bringing up the facts versus maybe some fiction in there, I want to remind you of our On Politics page because that's where, after each debate, you can find the fact check. When you're on WIVP.com, you go to the On Politics page right there, and we have a great fact fact check after every debate, um, you know, with different statements from both of the candidates and then the, the history behind it, the facts supporting it, or maybe proving them wrong. Again, there's also a great article about the body language of the debate. So often we're talking about the body language of candidates, not the issues. Well, here's a look at that too, so you can find that on the On Politics page. And also, most importantly, we have a debate right here today for the 27th Congressional District. So if you want to find out the details on that, it's at 10.30 tonight on The CW. You can also check out a poll on WIVB.com right now. It's time to send it over to Amelia to see what's happening with the weather. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Melina. I'll make sure to put a link to their website right from our website, wingingit.tv, for you. Now, if you haven't seen it yet this week, our website is pink. Winging It is going pink this week, thanks to South Town's radiology, and our website is pink to show that. So, also speaking of pink things on our website, you have to check out our gallery of from this week of all different viewers and every, all different guests sporting their pink colors for Winging It Goes Week, of course, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. There's great pictures here, and we want you to send in your pictures. Go to our Facebook or Twitter pages or send them in using Report It, and send us your pictures wearing pink, because we would love to share your pictures in this gallery. Obviously, you're gonna have some fun with it. We have Matt with his pink hairdo here. So definitely send over your pink pictures. We look forward to adding more and more to that gallery as the week goes on. Now, I'm on our Facebook page right now because, as we know, coming up, it's, it's Workout Wednesday, so we're going to be with Becca from the BAC. So I'm asking what your favorite workout music is. D Diane said her favorite is Bob James' Sign of the Times. Wayne likes classic rock. And over on Twitter, we're, we're hearing from our producer, Lauren. She says she likes to work out to the three Bs, Beyonce, Bieber, and the Black Eyed Peas. So you can definitely enjoy all of this today when you use your workout. Take out. Take this music advice for your workout today at the gym. So definitely, um, you can always find all this great stuff on our Facebook and Twitter pages. When you want to find us on Facebook and Twitter, remember just to go to our website, wingingit.tv, where you can always find links to our Facebook and our Twitter pages. So now it's time to go over to Workout Wednesdays with Becca and Matt.